I thought it was about time for me to do an empties video. It's been a while. <laughs> so my bag is quite heavy and I'm going to dive right in because there's quite a few products. First off, I've got two perfumes from Kat Von D. They are both the Saint fragrance and this is one of my top five favorite like fragrances ever and I started using it again because I heard she was going to come out with her uh, Sinner and Saint fragrances again. She hasn't yet, <laughs> so I'm still hoping that she plans on doing that because this is one of my favorite fragrances and I think I've got one more bottle but I was, I've was i been using this because she was going to come out with it again. Otherwise I would just kind of spray it and like savor it, I guess. <laughs> but it's got a really nice sweet smell but there's a bit of sharpness to it as well which I really love. This next product I know you guys hear me talk about quite a bit but it's the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer SPF 15 in reserve your cabana I use this to set my neck because I run sunscreen all the way you know past till like underneath my shirt and then I set it it's got an SPF 15 it matches my neck to my face and it also has like a bit of a sheen to it which I don't mind you know to have a sheet like a pretty sheen on my neck but it's just like the perfect tone and color and I like that it's got SPF 15 and it actually does a really good job of holding my physical sunblock in place on my on my neck I definitely don't use it sparingly then they've got a Guerlain meteorites the shade that I use is two Claire 0.88 ounces of product in here this is what I use to finish off my face after I got all of like my face products on it's the last step that I do and I just use a fluffy brush and buff it all over my skin but that guy's dusted and I have repurchased that I've always repurchased the wet and wild and I plan on repurchasing the saint as soon as she comes out with it again <laughs> um, and then I've got a cover FX this is the illuminating setting powder 0.35 ounces in this guy this is a really pretty setting powder their new one is really nice as well this one has a little bit more illumination to it than the newest one. I have quite a few loose setting powders to work through already so I won't be pur repurchasing this right now but it's definitely one that I would consider repurchasing because I really like it. And then the, this other one is the Dior Skin Nude Air Loose Powder in 010 Ivoire or Ivory. This I really love this and actually you know I used it up and then I put it in this empties bag and I kind of forgot that I wanted to purchase another one <laughs> so um, I'm actually probably going to do that because this is a really pretty setting powder as well it gives it it's not it doesn't like make your skin look super matte so if you like that look it's not going to do that but it sets um sets really nice and it doesn't like make your skin look flat so I really like this guy there's a ton of product in here too what is it 0.56 ounces then I've got some of the Marc Jacobs highliner gel crayons and I love these for the waterline this one here in introvert I know is used up but these other ones I've got which the colors are absolutely beautiful top secret uh, blew me away what's this one nice and and then ice like nice and then peridot um, these dried up <laughs> and the, the thing with Marc Jacobs highliner gel crayons is they're great when you first get them but as they start to dry out if you don't use it fast enough um, then they'll start flaking into pieces in your eye and I guess I'm referring to on the waterline um, but these ones here have these particular three have dried out so fast like there's still product in here this top secret shade is really pretty but I mean I can't I can't use it anymore and then I, this is probably the third introvert shade that I've gone through um, right now I've been you know use the Givenchy Cole Couture I can't get the lid off that's another thing <laughs> with these um, highlighter gel crayons the lids are hard to get off oh this one has okay there's some still left in here but it's it's skipping and so when it gets to that state then it's gonna flake off in pieces in my eye so I threw it in the in the bin. If these wouldn't dry out so fast then they wouldn't flake in the eye and then I wouldn't have to throw the product away but uh, I'm kind of on the kick with the Givenchy right now so I don't know I've got I think an introvert and an odyssey and both of those are still good to, yet to use but they're starting to get a little dry um, I'll work through those but I don't know if I'm gonna um, repurchase those ones anytime soon I'm gonna try out the new matte ones they they're, they're on the Marc Jacobs website right now, but they're not on Sephora. I think they're supposed to be coming hopefully this week, but hopefully those ones, hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully those ones um, stay a little bit creamier longer than these ones. So these ones are dusted. Then I have got my favorite mascara. It's still my favorite mascara. I'm still using it and I have a backup and I'm using one right now. <laughs> um, it's the CoverGirl, the Supersizer, and I use the shade Very Black. I've got uh, five of them 
in here. This is the Star Wars packaging that they had, but this has got a rubber brush, so if you don't like the rubber bristle brushes, then, um, you know, this one might not be for you, but I really like the formula on this. It thickens and lengthens my lashes really nice, and it doesn't flake or smudge, so I really like it. I've kind of got a pile of mascaras that I want to work through as well to like, get out of my collection, and each time I grab for one of those, I'm wishing that I was using this one, <laughs> so I've also got a Skin Ink Pure Serum mist and this is infused with hyaluronic acid and onsen water. This is one of my favorite um, face sprays. I don't necessarily use like a setting spray to like set my makeup. I use these for um, I guess extra hydration or if my face is feeling too dry. This one here is one of the only ones. I've got quite a few face sprays that I really like but this is one of the only ones that I can spray just one time over my face and I don't feel the need to spray it again throughout the day. Some of the other ones I spritz and it feels nice, but I feel like I need more hydration maybe a couple hours after. This one doesn't do that. I really like it. I actually sprayed, put a spritz of this before I turn on the video, which sometimes <laughs> makes me look kind of greasy in the camera, but in real life it looks fine. <laughs> but I really love this stuff. I have one sitting like over there and I also carry one with me like in my, my bag when I go places. I've got a Dr. Jart BB Beauty Balm SPF 45. I've only got one of these in the bag, but I've gone through several of them. For the most part, this is pretty much what I like to use as a foundation on my skin. I like the color of it. It matches me really well and the it's got extra hydration in the SPF 45, so really love that. Gone through several bottles, have a bottle that I'm working on using right now. Have one in the backup drawer. <laughs> um, then I got another fragrance. This is the Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce Cologne. Again, this is one of my favorite top five fragrances like ever. It's a men's cologne doesn't stop me. <laughs> I've actually got a few men's colognes that I like, but um, this one in particular, I don't know, it brings, I don't know, it does something for me. It like takes me to a really fun, like, happy place. I don't know, probably because I used to douse myself in this when I was like, Raisin Cane <laughs> back in the day, but I still love this stuff. I've got a giant bottle that's almost empty as well, and I do have a backup of this little one because I like to travel with it. So that's the Abercrombie and Fierce Fit, Abercrombie and Fitch. Fierce Cologne. One of my favorite eyeshadow bases is the NYX eyeshadow base. <laughs> this is, the uh, the pot is ESB01, which is the white, and what I did was take a little bit of ESB03, which is quite, uh, it's a flesh tone color, but it's, it's darker, and I put a blob of that in here and mixed it together, because the 02 shade has got shimmer in it, um, and these ones are more like a, I guess, matte. There's no, like, shimmer in it, but anyway, so I mixed them, and I used up one of these and I'm also using one right now and I used it for the shadow that I have on right now. I just finished up this guy. This is the Givenchy Cole Couture Waterproof Eyeliner and this is in Jade. And I'll go ahead and purchase another one of these so that I have it in here because this is I use it a lot in here and then I use them in my purse for like touching up on a go. But um, these have been my fave eyeliners at the moment here. Let's get a little bit. But it's a really pretty green shade and I like to use it on the waterline. These don't flake off and they also last really well. Some more eyeliners. I've got the Marc Jacobs Highliner Crayon and this is an Odyssey and I know this one, the lids man, this one is all the way done for. There's a little bit sticking out but by then it's you know pretty dry. Then I have a NARS Larger Than Life Longwear Eyeliner in Cal San Road and I love, absolutely love the color of this but come on man. <laughs> Uh, dried, this one dried out really fast. And then as well as this one, this is the Touch and Soul Style Neon Super Proof Gel Eyeliner. And this is in um, Astral Ice 04. Again, super pretty color. Dried out like super fast. I remember tossing these in my empties bag um, not too long after I purchased them. They've been sitting there for a while, but um, they just... They dried out so fast, but they lasted really well on the waterline when the like the pencil was functioning properly. Um, next, I've got a YSL tint in oil, Volupt, and actually, um, these aren't bad products. Love the packaging. Um, what I would use this for is when I'm getting ready after I'm done with my face makeup and I'm like working on my eyes. Um, in between there, I would put this on my lips so that they're it's kind of. Um, conditioning them a little bit for when I put on my lipstick but otherwise um, it's a really thin 
consistency and I kind of feel like it moves around on my lips a little bit too much for use during the day so that's kind of how I use that. I have one other one that I'm working through as well and I probably won't repurchase um, that product because I'm not I'm not nuts about it. I've got an Anastasia brow powder in the shade taupe and this is what I was using before I, I got the Dior 3D Brow, which is my favorite now. Um, as long as that's around, I probably won't be repurchasing the Anastasia. And then I've got the Ulta Brow Tint in Light. I've got two of these guys. Uh, this one is very similar, like the wand and everything is very similar to the Benefit Gimme Brow. And I think these were only $6. And I also got them, I believe it was, you can get Ulta products like buy two, get two free a lot. But... I have got a few, I've got two more of these, one in my backup and one that I, I'm using as well. Um, but right now I really like the new Maybelline Master Precise with the longer one, not the one with the ball on the end, but the, the even newer one. I've been really liking that one. So I'll, I'll probably have the two that I have in my collection still for a while because I'm using the Maybelline one. But I still really like the Ulta version and it's really affordable. An eyebrow gel that's not so affordable. <laughs> this is the By Terry Eyebrow Mascara in Highlight Blonde. It's a nice brow mascara. This one will dry uh, quite stiff. Like if you if you comb your eyebrows up, it has a great hold on it, but there, it doesn't have any fibers in it and stuff. Um, I enjoyed it while I had it, but I probably won't repurchase it. And then I've gone through several of these, which at, at some point I just started throwing in the trash can. Um, this is the NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner. And I love this because the formulation is really fluid and it has a brush and it's not like super bushy or anything. It's got a pretty nice fine tip brush. I was able to get a swatch out of that but like when I'm pulling it out to do a full wing and stuff there's just not enough product and I have to put it back in and shake it a lot so by, when it gets to that point then I open a new one. Found another Ulta brow tint and another Dr. Jart beauty balm and also another Marc Jacobs highlighter gel crayon and introvert. Pretty sure this one's um, used up as well. These lids, you guys. Who else has trouble getting the lids off of the Marc Jacobs pencils? It's kind of, it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> so that's what's left of this guy, but it, by that point it got dry on me. And then here's another Touch in Soul Style Neon, and this one's in e Eclectic Electric. Again, a really pretty color, but these dried out so fast. It's kind of frustrating because I didn't, you know, I didn't get a lot of use out of them before they started to dry out, and I think they were like $22. So definitely won't repurchase those again. Um, then I've got, I've got a Tom Ford lipstick. This is in number 13, Blush Nude. When, I, I would say probably a month after I purchased this lipstick, it starts smelling rancid. <laughs> and Tom Ford uses quite a bit of like nut butters, I think, in his formulations, and they just turn, and I have, I haven't purchased a Tom Ford lipstick in a while, um, and I don't think that I will as long as they're using this type of a formula because it's a waste of money. This is like $50, $52 or something like that, and it turned so fast. Like, a Tom Ford lipstick, you're paying that much money. It should not, it should not stink rancid in like a month. <laughs> but let me swatch the color for you. This is Blush Nude. It's a really gorgeous shade, but... This particular one, it stinks. <laughs> another Dr. Jart Beauty Balm <laughs> and another Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in Ash Blonde Taupe. This is in the old school packaging, which, does it bring back any memories, anybody? This is really old school. <laughs> then I've got a Dior Addict It Lash Mascara and this is in 092, it's just a black shade. Um, this is one of the rubber bristled brushes. Um, I did like this mascara. Um, I. It did a really good job at lengthening and like giving my lashes volume and separating them. I don't, to my knowledge, it didn't flake or smudge on me. But um, for the price tag, when I, especially when I compare it to the CoverGirl, it's not worth the repurchase. It isn't right now. I know they did some colored mascaras um, in that type of version that I was interested in for like my lower lash line. But um, I don't think I'll repurchase that, that guy, although it was a good mascara. And then here is a Lancome Grandiose Mascara, and this is in black. This also has a rubber bristle brush. And I do like the wand, how it's curved like that. It kind of allows you to get in some of the harder areas a little bit easier. But this is a really nice mascara as well. And it's also one that I have repurchased and I've also got it in a few of the colored formulas, which are really pretty. I do like the formula. It gives me, 
it gives me more volume than the, the um, CoverGirl, but not quite as much length. So that's a product I still have in my collection. It's one that I probably will repurchase. Um, next, I've got a Dr. Dart Black Label Detox BB Beauty Balm SPF 25. This is also a really nice uh, BB, BB cream, or it was a product I had in a full size that I was using as a foundation for a while, um, but I wanted to up the SPF, so I went to the Premium. And I actually think the Premium one probably matches me a little bit better than the Black Label, but this is also a really nice BB cream. That one was a sample that I got in like a holiday set. Um, I probably won't repurchase that one over the premium however and then I've got a morphe brushes <laughs> uh, gel eyeliner um, this here I liked it when I first got it but it dried out again one of those products that just dried out like boom <laughs> so I was only able to use it for I want to say like two months or something like that and then it just shriveled up so I won't be repurchasing that guy then I've got a wet n wild color icon contouring palette and this one is uh, this is Dolce de Leche, and I absolutely loved, I love this product. Um, the powder, the lighter highlight powder on this side is nice as well, but it was this portion right here was the perfect bronzer for my skin. And then they went ahead and they, like, I don't, they revamped the shades and I think also the formula, and I don't feel that the new ones are nearly as nice as these ones were, both in the, the actual um, powders, the texture and formula of the powders, but also in the color. And so I've got a few um, backups of this guy, but I'm kind of, it's turned into one of those situations where I'm like savoring it because I know it's its not available anymore. And I mean, that's probably one of my top five um, bronzers that I've ever used on my skin. And I'm really sad that they changed the color and the formula of that. Getting down to the wire here, on the very bottom, there were some more Wet n Wild color icons <laughs> in Reserve Your Cabana. And then I've got a Sephora, this is a gel liner and it's in the shade Emerald. It came out with the Sephora and Pantone Universe collection in Emerald and I loved this color. This was before uh, Marc Jacobs Highlander Gel Crayon and a lot of um, colored eyeliners I guess but I would put this on the waterline and the formula of this lasted really nice on the waterline as well but this guy here she dried up it was actually one I had one that I was using that dried up and I tossed it and I had this guy in my backup drawer because I didn't want to I really liked it for the waterline now I'm fine that you can't purchase it anymore because of the colored liners that we have nowadays but um this one was dried out when I pulled it out of the box. I've got one more Dr. Dart Black Label BB Balm, um, like deluxe sample size. And then there is a Dior Show Maximizer. This is also a deluxe size um, base, uh, mascara base or primer. And this was really good. Oh my gosh, this brush is about sad as it gets. But um, this was a really nice primer, but I didn't love it enough to purchase a full size. And then I have a Bite Beauty BB for Lips Natural Lip Balm. This had SPF 15 in it. This, the smell of these were amazing. They tasted, they tasted, they have a sweet taste to them. Um, I used to have one of these in my pocket all the time for when I was outside because it's got an SPF in it. Um, but they discontinued these, which really made me sad because I loved this, um, I love this product. So I can't repurchase that one, which makes me sad. <laughs> um, next up, I've got some Duo Glue. This is the brush on adhesive with vitamins. I used up two of these guys and I did pur repurchase this. Um, and I have one that's in the, the darker formula and I also have one in, in this type of formula that I'm working through. But now they don't have with vitamins on the label, which I don't know, I don't know what's up with that. I can't really tell the difference between the ones that says with, the ones that say with vitamins or the one that doesn't have it on there. And then the last two products, I've got a Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Talc Free Face Powder in Translucent Light. This is one, this has been one of my favorite uh, setting powders. Uh, for my like my BB cream or foundation or whatever I may be using which it's pretty much the BB cream nowadays but um, I really like this to set if I need a little bit extra coverage on my face this is a really good one and over the years I've I've purchased so many of these and Physicians Formula has quite a few different pressed powders this one is in the like silver packaging and it says on the back mineral wear talc free mineral face powder translucent light which translucent light can actually be a little bit tricky to find. And lastly, I've got one of the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten foundations in F with a SPF of 15 in porcelain. I've actually got this on my face today because my skin has just been acting a fool. It's just been acting a fool <laughs> and I blame the weather. But um, this is the shade porcelain and I've used up quite a few of these over the years as well and I continue to always have this product 
in my collection because it's easy it covers really well and it's not it doesn't irritate or anything my skin so when it, my skin's really like acting silly like I kind of hold up on like some of my li more liquid products and go to something like this and it seems to kind of do the trick in terms of clearing up my skin I guess. I also use the shade Fair and depending on what part of my face like I'll use the porcelain shade like kind of in the more the highlighty type of points of the face and then I'll go back and forth and mix the two for like the outer perimeters. So I do use two shades of it and this is one of those products that I'll probably always have and continue to repurchase because it's just it's quick it's easy it's like not complicated <laughs> and that's all of my empties. I thought I was only going to be able to get through like half the bag but I managed to get through the whole thing. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I'll see you guys later. Bye!